adding a script. Now it's time to add a script. I always record my audio outside of the Crazy Talk program, as I'm never very satisfied with the audio quality available through this software. And I'm certainly not going to drop in a text and have a computer-generated text-to-speech voice. It sounds awful, as you might imagine, but if awful is what you're going for, indulge yourself. So, you will drop the audio onto the timeline. The first thing that you should do is to adjust the project length. By default, it is 1 minute and 0.05 seconds. And if you drop in a 3 minute audio file, you will need to adjust the time. Otherwise, the audio is simply cut off when the project ends abruptly at 1 minute. I find it strange that the program doesn't extend the time automatically, but it doesn't. So this adjustment is crucial. Once you have a character built, you can upload a different audio file, mess with the emotives, and create a brand new animation. Therefore, you don't have to go through the steps of building the character each time, though if you're like me, you'll relish playing around with new characters. You can add up to four characters in Crazy Talk. On the face fitting panel, you can set up the characters and then drop in new audio for each on the script tab. Therefore, you could actually stage a debate in a Crazy Talk video.